Martin, two goals, a clean sheet, and a good performance. How does it feel? Um, yeah, it was a it was a very difficult game, and the players that we've just been speaking about there, and um, I thought they they showed a lot of our culture throughout the game in. In difficult conditions, the pitch was um, was a little bit lively at times in the way that we'd like to play. Um, but I still saw bravery from us in terms of taking the ball under pressure and trying to find solutions in certain moments, particularly in 1v1 duels. Um, but I have to give credit to um, Grimsby. I thought they were they're such a tough outfit to play against um, physically. Um, and I've got some real some real players in there. So it was a challenge. Um, really pleased that the players overcame that and uh, and demonstrated some of the transfer from what we've been working on training this week. But yeah, I think um, <laughs> pleased for the players. Obviously, they've uh, they've won the league in, in terms of the result today. Um, as I said previously, the results are for them to, to enjoy. Um, but I'm, I'm immensely proud of all the staff and all the players for the journeys that they've been on this season and last season. And uh, yeah, I hope that they all enjoy it. Like you say, there was a lot of quality on show. Does that make it better winning the league against a team who's shown they can do it and they can compete? Yeah, for sure. Grimsby, uh, you know, straight away, the players, I heard them talking about Grimsby at the beginning of the season, of how good they are and how tough they are. So um, we always knew that they would be competitive. We always knew that it would be a, a challenge whenever we played against them. We've played them twice this season already. Um, we'd, uh, we'd not been able to score a goal against them in both those games uh, and we'd been beaten and then we drew in the other one. So... Yeah, one of the best teams in the league um, with some really good individual players and, and the staff as well, to be honest. Um, Callum and Neil are um, two top top human beings who, who really respect how they do it with players and how they do things. So, yeah, it, it makes it a little bit more enjoyable because you know um, how good the opponents are. So it's testament to our players that we've over, overcome that challenge today. You speak a lot about the culture. There was very limited celebrations, bang on the whistle. It was like they waited until the Grimsby players had left the field. What does that say about the players as people? Yeah, it's a great observation. Um, I had mixed emotions. I actually said to lads, "I'm a little bit in between here, lads. You've um, you've not celebrated, so I'm thinking, are we, are we too humble? But I don't think we are. I think exactly as you said there. I think the players were probably a little bit disappointed with certain moments of the game where they felt and and we as staff felt we could have been better. Um, so again, albeit the result went in our favour, I think there were some moments that we looked at earlier on in the week where I felt we, we wanted to improve upon since last time we played them and we didn't quite get that right in certain situations, but they'll learn from that, no doubt. Um, but yeah, to touch on your point there, um, they waited and, until the, the Grimsby players had uh, made their way inside and, and then we discussed it quietly around the real positives across the course of the season and real positives over the last sort of eight, eight nine months for individuals and how, they, how much they've improved. And they all spoke about... Um, players and staff the gratitude that we all have that we're able to work with each other every day and I said that in the past the culture is, is the strongest thing um, about that group um, individually and collectively so yeah that was that was really good for, and respectful I think for our players to do that To do it with a few games to spare you, you, you'd be hoping that that kind of culture is what will keep them going and they don't get complacent at the end how are you going to make sure that their heads are screwed on the Finish the game. Finish the season strong. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't need to do anything to, to to make sure that happens. They do it themselves. Um, the culture is is works both ways. It's not just a, a coach led approach at all. There's a, the players are driving that themselves. So I've no doubts that they'll maintain their standards and continue with that consistency. And um, what I would say is, as we spoke previously about game experiences and trying to expose them to situations that might prepare them better for the future. Um, we've got two games left in the league and and ones against uh, Lincoln, um, and that's away. And we've just agreed with Lincoln. Um, credit to them and, and they've set it up where we're able to play on their first team ground after the first team play their last game of the season so hopefully they'll their supporters will want to be a part of that and want to stay in the stadium and hopefully we'll have a few thousand there watching the players in that game so again fantastic experience for them and then from there we move into the last game of the season where um, again thanks to our to our club who are allowing us to play on Valley Parade so two great games two great game experiences and um, hopefully the players will embrace those uh, and we'll learn from those moments and finish the season in, in the manner that we've we've played all season and that's with with courage with humility and, and with a competitive edge about us